Hi, my name is Steve Salivan, and I'm a volunteer at the Common Crawl Foundation. In this screencast, we're going to show you how you can start analyzing the 40 terabytes of web crawl information that we've released, somewhere on the order of around 5 billion downloaded web pages, with a tool called Hadoop, and it will take nothing more than 25 cents and around 5 to 10 minutes of your time. It's really a lot easier than you'd imagine. So we first need to install a couple of tools, Git to share the code, and Eclipse to edit it, and detailed instructions for installing them on Linux, OS X, and Windows can be found on our blog at our website, commoncrawl.org. For the purposes of this demonstration, though, we'll be using OS X. So as you can see, I've loaded up the, the, uh, the pages here, and you can actually find links to them on our website, again, commoncrawl.org. I've pre-downloaded them because my, um, my internet connection here is a little bit slow. So I'm just going to go and pop open the Eclipse tarball, dump it into applications, and then open up the installation package for Git after I mount the disk image. It'll run through the uh, Mac installation program, and now you've got Eclipse and Git installed. Next, we want to show you um, basically how to start using Git. Um, you'll actually need to pop open the command line for this, but I promise it's not scary at all. Basically, um, the next step is to go and find our source code. Again, the link's on our website, commoncrawl.org, and then pull down the link I just selected. Then run a git clone and then paste that. Just a Apple V should do ya. And it'll take about a minute. There's probably around 25 odd megabytes that are going to come down the pipe, and so we're going to speed that up. Now we've got it all checked out, and it's in a directory in our home folder. It's called cc-hello world. That's just the name of the program. And so, um, now that we've got it checked out, we just need to pop open Eclipse and then load it. And so, you can't see it here, but you want to open the file menu and go to New Project. And then, not General, but Java. Select Java Project with Existing Ant Build File, because we have one. Then click the Browse button, go over to where you checked out that code, and select the build.xml file. It's sort of the key to the castle, if you will. And so Eclipse discovers all the right things. Tick that box that says link to the file on the file system because that means that our edits will apply should you start playing around with the code. Um, this is uh, basically what it looks like. It's rather nice. The next step we got to do, right click on Hello World and select Properties, then go to the Builders tab and click New, add a new builder, just give it a name like CC Hello World Jar. And essentially, we just need to specify some information where our ant build file is, and also the directory where we want our builds to come out, because what we're going to take from this, we're going to send up to the Amazon cloud. And then for our arguments, we just want to put the word dist in there, because that tells ant to build our mega jar that we're going to send up. So now right click on Hello World and select Build Project. What that's going to do is that it's going to put together our jar that we're going to use to start playing around with a, the Amazon Elastic MapReduce tool. And so now you can see that we've got that right there. And so the next step is to upload it to the Amazon cloud. And so you need to have an, an AWS account. If you don't, instructions for having one can be found on our website, commoncrawl.org. First, we need to create an S3 bucket. So go to the S3 tab, click Create Bucket, add in a name, click Done and now you've got a bucket. Next step, we've got to upload our jar, so click Upload, click Add Files, and then go to where you checked out the code, then go to the dist folder and the lib folder where it got produced, and hello world.jar is what you want. And it's somewhere on the order of around 20 megs. It's going to take a little while to bring up, but we're going to skip through that for the purposes of this demonstration. So let's click the Elastic MapReduce tab, click Create a New Job Flow, and we're going to give it just a name like, you know, Common Crawl, Hello World, whatever you feel like, and then select from the Job Type menu, Custom Jar, and to run your own program. So now we need to let Amazon know where our jar is, and since we put it in S3, we put it in S3N colon slash slash our bucket, then slash the name of the file, and then we need to pass it a couple of arguments. The first argument is the main class um, where we can find a main method to begin executing our job and you can see that in the code and then you have to basically enter in your Amazon AWS key ID and your Amazon AWS secret key and then after that you need to basically specify where in the crawl you want to start word counting and then where you want the output from that to go and the output will be in comma separated value form 
So uh, next, I recommend enabling debugging, and I actually made a little boo-boo. I actually have to add in a Amazon S3 log path because that information is also valuable. So just accept the defaults for the rest and click Create Job Flow. Then click Close. And now it's running. And the output, uh, as you'll see here, you can see it in your S3 bucket. I'm going to show you what um, one of my last runs looked like. So if you go and pop that open, and you'll see some different things in here, but what you really want to look for is the output from your job. And so I'm going to show you the output from one of my last runs in the Hello World 2 folder. And here you'll find a couple of uh, files containing all of the words that were found in the part of the web crawl you just looked through in comma separated value form. And there you have it, zero to Hadoop in five minutes with the Common Crawl dataset. We hope that you've enjoyed this, and um, if you start playing around with the code and you find some cool stuff, let us know. We will feature it on our website, commoncrawl.org.